I hope that you've been enjoying our Israel vlog. We are currently in Jerusalem, very close to Mount Olives, and we are about to go to the Western Wall, which is very historic and one of the most religious places for Jews, Christians, and Muslims. And as you hear, it is a massive targeted place because it is in conflict often. So I'll take you guys along. I hope you enjoy, and we'll go to the Dead Sea after this. That's why this place is one of the hearts of the conflicts, the religious conflict between uh, Jews and Muslims, between Israelis and Palestinians, okay? This place is the heart of the conflict, okay? Another conflict is territory between the Israelis and the Palestinians. But uh, religious-wise, this is the heart of the conflict between Israelis and Palestinians, okay? Why is that so? Why is that so? Yeah. Because you know what that's a good question <laughs> ask them no no i'm being serious ask right. them why they have their own place where yeah. our place why whatever your thoughts are on this um this is not a place to incite political or religious hate this is just a relaxing video opposite to us it's mount of olives we see the huge cemetery mm -hmm. okay it's a very important place for muslim jews and christians why because we they believe we believe that when the messiah will come he will resurrect all the dead people Okay, so that's why it's a very popular place for religious people to be buried. For example, my parents-in-law, Sorry, they were religious and they asked to be buried there. And we, so we paid 10,000 US dollars for each one of them to wow. be buried there. Wow. 10,000 US dollars to be, yes. Now it's even more. Where are the tombs? Is it just if there? If we look to the right, and, but uh, it's a bit difficult, 200 meters to the right, 600 feet to the right, oh, okay. it's the uh, city of David. Okay, we can see it, but it's right here to the right. We are about to approach the Western Wall, which is a very, very sacred and religious place, especially for Jews. So I had to respect them and not talk too much. So we're just approaching and the security checks are very, very rigorous. Similar to the airport sort of security where you take everything out and go through scanners to be sure that it's safe. So I'll take you guys along to have a feel of what it is once you're in there. And this is the wall where you can put your wishes through. <laughs> Go for Cameroon. Okay, now we separate, okay? To the wall, you can touch it, keep on going, and you can put your wishes. Okay, and we will meet here in 10 minutes, okay? okay. I must confess that I have never seen anything like this, and it, it was just a serene place to be, to see different cultures, different religious beliefs, and the Jews come pray and um, read the quotations, read the Bible, and more importantly, people come from around the world to leave their wishes on this wall. And we did the same. For me, it was just to experience it. We touched it. And yeah, we all had different wishes. I'm just happy I'm alive. I'm grateful to be here. I love my family. I love my friends. And I pray for long life. Have any of you heard about this wall before now? Share your experience. We left and we were heading to the most exciting and the highlight of our trip. Look at this. I opened my eyes in the car and I thought I was dreaming. I thought I had gone back in time. We are on our way to the lowest point in the world. We're heading to the Dead Sea, 400 meters underground. Just look at the, 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 the scenery. The, the, the deserts on the left, the mountains, it's so picturesque. It doesn't look real. And I'm so lucky to create these memories. Now, which is one of the oldest towns in the world? Jericho. Yeah. Okay, look at Jericho. How come, how come it's green? How come in the middle of the desert we see the green place? That's because when it rains in Jerusalem, the rain goes all the way below the ground and it comes out here in Jericho. So that's why they can live in Jericho, they can make a living because if you want to live in the desert, it's very nice. But if you don't have water, you will not have water. That's why they can make also agriculture. You can see all the palm trees. Yes. Where in Jericho? Over there, to the left. This is the oldest town in the world. Researchers estimate that Jericho is 
between 8,000 to 10,000 years ago. I know, I know. I'm that gift that keeps giving all the history, all the lessons for free on this channel. What do you do? Just like the video. Anyway, we're just about to approach the Dead Sea and this was the highlight of the trip. And you can watch your girl float. I did not believe, but anyway, I'll just let you use your eyes and see exactly the experience we had with bare natural minerals. Hello, welcome back. It feels like I've not spoken to you guys in a while. We are at the last point of destination and the Dead Sea about to swim. So. Oh yes, you read that right. Welcome to the lowest place on earth and your girl went there. We're about to get our swimming costumes and we're hitting the beach we did not plan to actually swim but when we got here there was no way we we're not going to get into the water and what our tour guide said was look at a picture before and after and see how young you get after swimming the dead sea and that's the lowest bar in the world we're coming back to that don't worry so just come along and just watch us have a fantastic time girls will always be girls but this was by all means the highlight of our trip and i'll just say a few things if you're coming to the dead sea to, fl to swim don't open your eyes there was a lot of that going on and we were all in agony because we were either laughing messed about and the water is so salty and it does hurt the eye but of the body it has amazing benefits and we had mud we you know we took our, ourselves right in and we felt a lot better so just watch and enjoy and if you've watched up until this point please consider subscribing like the video and yeah thanks hey. this is the point that i floated i want to talk about this i don't really know how to swim or float and we were told that everybody floats but i just thought that the tour guide was messing about but i truly floated we all floated it was amazing i think this is a bucket list ticked and i'll tell anybody contemplating it visit israel and make sure you go to the dead sea you can see before and after pictures and I definitely looked younger. I feel better. My body feels better since I got back. 